because oh my god, a bus just pulled up and now I feel very awkward. <laughs> we'll talk later. You're gonna what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> We are just doing some planning to figure out where we're going to next. So we're going to Uluru, but we want to also look at like free camp spots, um, all the other things. We also have to obviously have to factor in fuel and where petrol is. This way down here heads to Uluru and then there's like a loop you can do. Where does the loop take you back into? Alice. Yeah, it goes the back way to Alice. Like the back way to Alice, yeah. so I think, yeah, I think we do that. Well, this is the best part because, like, I love waking up and not knowing where we're going. It's very not like yeah. me, but it's me on holidays, yeah, I know. But, like, I'm very, I'm so structured and so planned in my everyday life that I feel like by the end of this trip, or even a couple of weeks, I'll feel a lot more relaxed. I'm still very, like, I want to know what we're doing, but at the same time, we'll just go and we'll just see, see what we see, won't we? Oh, yeah. We'll cruise, we'll be right, we'll cruise. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that is Uluru ahead of us. Coming up here, Camel Farm. Am I going into you, Lara? I like that. Yeah? Uh, uh, I like uh, The resort there. Oh, yeah. We have just pulled into the, what is this place called? Ayers Rock Resort, Resort, and we're gonna try and see if we can get a campsite for tonight. Apparently it's been really busy, so we wanna sort of get that sorted now. That's the plan. I'll let you know how much it is, how much we're paying and everything um, when we get back. Okay, so we decided to pay for a powered site. The unpowered ones were further away and what was the other reason? Oh, next to the generator. Apparently right near a generator and Buzzy was like, not about that. So we've booked a powered site, which is good because I want to do a bit of, fair bit of editing tonight and I can recharge things again, which is good. Um, we're now just heading out to Uluru. We're gonna go and have a look at Uluru now. Um, try and just get our bearings. It's actually kind of confusing. You sort of drive in and there's like this loop of all these different resorts and stuff, but you can't really see much from the road, so you don't really know where things are. Apparently there's an IGA somewhere in there, so we're gonna go there after. What else? Go for a swim. Go for a swim. There's mini golf also at the, um, so we're staying at the Ayers Rock Resort. I think that's what camping it is. Grounds. Camping grounds. So yeah, definitely not the resort in the camping grounds. There's a lot of people there. It's funny because there's also a lot of people that where we stayed last night, they're there again. Um, so yeah. We will update you when we're closer to Uluru. What did you think of Uluru? It was pretty cool actually. Yeah, so we went for a bit of a drive around. I've got a bit of a headache, which is starting to go away now because I took Panadol. But we've just come to the IGA and we're going to get some stuff for tomorrow only because... Oh my god, a bus just pulled up and now I feel very awkward. Yeah, no, he's looking. I'm out. <laughs> we'll talk later. This is our new camp for the night at the Ayers Rock uh, campgrounds. Um, we've just set up the awning. We also had a big clean up in our cupboards out the back the big drawers we knew at some point we would rearrange them just based off what we use most so we've put all the food in one side and then this is all for other stuff i think this will work a lot better we got some massive drink bottles just that so we can chuck in the fridge sort of overnight so we've got fresh cold water in the morning um we we're actually thinking we're going to go to the pool and have a look but yeah this is this is our campground We've just come down to like the amenities area and then we're going to go across to the main reception because we want to book in the field of lights and they offered it to us this morning. We didn't book it in because we weren't really sure what our plan was. Budsy's not happy because we went online to try and book it and it's saying it's all booked out and we're only staying here one night so we'll have to check. Tell everyone what happened. I want to go see the, what is it, lights in the field. Field, field, of, field lights. of lights. And we had the chance to book this afternoon. <laughs> Silly said no, we'll think about it. <laughs> 
booked. Only it. because I didn't know what the process was. I was like, do we have to book a tour? Could we just drive there ourselves? We had no idea. We'd done no research on anything. Anyway, we then figured out that it is like a tour thing. You can't just go by yourself. It's on private property. Um, so we looked online. No, this is when we were at Uluru. I looked online and the signal kept cutting in and out. And I was like, we'll do it as soon as we got back. Then we forgot about it. And then we got back here after supermarket shopping. And Buzz was like, wait, did we book? And I was like, no, nah, we couldn't. <laughs> so then we went online and it said it was booked out. So we went to reception to just see if like maybe they held tickets there or something. And it was booked out. So Buzz is not a, <laughs> not a happy camper. <laughs> There's another company you can go with, AAT or something. They do sunrise ones, but they're also booked out. So, I mean, they do, yeah, sunrise ones tomorrow morning. But they're, yeah, also booked out. So... No field of lights for us. I told Buzz we can just watch a YouTube video on it. Fantastic. <laughs> you're not actually sour about it, are you? I feel like you're really putting it on a little bit. <laughs> He's making me cook dinner, everything. Um, we're just playing some Uno now. Buzz is cooking some dinner. We're just using it. Whoa. We're just using some of the meat that we've had and we've got some salad mix that we got from the supermarket this morning and we're just going to have a barbecue in the outback. Just had dinner, it's about 7.30 and really bummed that we missed out on going on the field of the lights thing but not much we can do about it. We are going to wake up early and we're going to go to one of the sunrise spots and then there's a 10 kilometer um, walk you can do around the base of Uluru. So we're going to go and do that as well and then we're thinking we'll come back here depending on if we get it done before checkout time which we probably won't. I don't know we'll have to just wait and see in the morning but we'd like to come back and have a shower before we head off and we go to um, Kings Canyon. So that's the plan for tomorrow. We're about to jump up in the rooftop tent. Actually, I'm going to have a shower. Buzz has already had one. Um, camp life is so cruisy. Like, this is so much fun. Look, we're heading up. There's a viewing area up there. And we're going to come and watch sunrise. If Budsy hurries up. You coming, champion? <laughs> Come on. if you come to Uluru definitely wake up at sunrise and come to the sunrise spot I'll insert the name of it I can't remember what it is and I also don't know if my pronunciation will be right but I'll insert it on the screen definitely go there it's beautiful everyone's really quiet it's just like it's amazing definitely do it now we're heading back to the Mala car park because we're gonna do the 10k walk around the base of Uluru um, it says it takes around like three hours and in warm weather to do it in the morning so it's not super warm at the moment like what's the temperature at the moment like it's 11 degrees um i think it's going to be a top of like 27 or 28 i think i looked at that and we're going to get it done this morning Okay, so we came back and we had some breakfast slash lunch. It was like 11.30 when we ate after our walk this morning. And it's hot and it's like kind of a bit windy today. And we were just going to chill here. But then I did some Googling and I found that there's a 
like swim up bar pool restaurant which is like only a couple of kilometers away from where we are so we're gonna go there i rang them just so they you know suss it out and we can we're gonna go there so i'm really hanging for like a cocktail by the pool so i'm manifesting that that is what i'm picturing me by the pool with a cocktail have a little swim So as you would have seen from those last couple of snippets, we did find the pool, we did have a cocktail. It was absolutely amazing. It was super comfortable. Highly recommend it, especially on hot, windy days if you're camping. We've just spent the last probably hour and a half, maybe almost two hours in the laundry. So we did some washing because we've decided to stay here another night. I think I already mentioned that, but staying here an extra night, we did a heap of washing and then I did a heap of editing. So that was really good. We got that done. Buds has just put some stuff in the back of the car. And now we're kind of treating ourselves. This wasn't really part of our budgeting. We didn't really have a budget though, did we? No. So there's a restaurant here and it's at the same place we went to the pool today. So when we were at the pool, we only bought a cocktail each. We didn't have lunch or anything. And the girl that served us was just so lovely that um, we did a little research on the restaurant and they have like a buffet seafood dinner thing. So we're going to go there for tea tonight and then come home, have a sleep. Uh, early night because we're going to get up early and do field of lights tomorrow, which I'm super excited for. And so is Budsy because I want to, go. want to tell them the story. We tried to book and we had the chance and Celia said we'll think about it. And <laughs> then we went back to book and it was booked out. <laughs> so then because we're staying an extra night, we have booked in for the morning session tomorrow. So it includes like going for a sunset drive somewhere and then also the field of lights before sunrise. Sunrise. Sun. Did I say sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. Yeah, sunrise and then also the field of lights before that. So super excited for that, but we're heading off for dinner now and I cannot wait. <laughs> to the field of life and it was absolutely incredible i highly recommend it we also did our tour with aat which was a sunrise tour so it i think it's better you can do it at night time and we were originally going to do that obviously you would have seen the videos <laughs> but it was a little bit annoying that we missed that one but i reckon sunrise is 10 times better because you get to see it pitch black and then the sunrise coming up you see all the rule in the background too it is amazing we are just doing some dishes <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be drying and then we're gonna head off to Kings Canyon so I'm gonna leave this video here and I will see you when we get to Kings Canyon um, if you have any recommendations please leave them in the comments below especially for around Catherine um, we are gonna head up there later in the week maybe we'll just have to wait and see but thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video